Some of the most dangerous beings on Earth are found in aquatic environments, boasting formidable jaws and the capability to strike with astonishing speed. These traits make such creatures particularly fearsome, prompting fishermen, for the most part, to avoid these perilous waters. Ambo, a fisherman from Kalimantan, led a peaceful life akin to many of his peers. Navigating the calm before his routine was abruptly shattered by a startling encounter with a formidable marine creature. Having spent half his life on the waters, Ambo owned a weather-beaten wooden fishing boat, setting out each morning to catch fish to sell at the local market by the docks. His newborn son, Booty, was his driving motivation. Each successful catch meant more funds set aside for Booty's elementary education. Ambo was determined that Booty would forge a different, perhaps safer, path and not follow in the strenuous footsteps of a fisherman. Working solo, Ambo prepared his bait and fishing lines. Setting out to sea each day, a demanding yet habitual practice, living beside a river, he kept his modest boat conveniently close, navigating a narrow river channel for ten minutes before reaching a quieter part of the sea. On one particularly serene morning, as he reached his preferred fishing spot before any other fisherman, the environment was exceptionally tranquil. The sun was just beginning to crest the horizon as Ambo paddled to one of his favorite locales, savoring the solitude. Unaware of the potential dangers lurking below the water's surface, had he known what was hidden in the depths that day, he might have reconsidered his journey. Ambo had grown up on the Bantong Islands, which had evolved from a quaint area to a bustling urban center over his lifetime. As a boy, he had spent countless hours in a boat with his father, rarely encountering another soul. Now, large vessels transporting coal and materials off the island were a common sight, which, while beneficial for the local economy, also contributed to increased river pollution. Despite these changes, Ambo tried not to let it affect him. He still felt a deep connection to his hometown through the fish and other marine life. Even on his days off, he would swim near the reef, discovering new species and noting that the most extraordinary creatures often appeared when least expected. After Ambo stopped his boat and set up his lines, he was ready to relax and watch the sunrise. However, his moment of peace was abruptly interrupted. As Ambo sat perched on the edge of his small fishing boat, his fishing line suddenly jerked sharply to the left, forcefully capturing his attention away from the serene surroundings and back to the unpredictability of the sea. Initially, Ambo assumed a large catch was responsible for the disturbance. However, it soon became evident that he was dealing with something much larger and more formidable. Settling into his usual fishing routine on the placid river, Ambo was jolted by a sudden eruption on the water's surface. Beneath his boat, the water darkened ominously as a large, swiftly moving shadow passed underneath, its size and definition too distinct to be any ordinary fish. Without any prior warning, this enigmatic creature pulled fiercely on his fishing line, in a swift, almost violent gesture. The fishing rod was yanked out of his hands and vanished into the murky depths below. Caught off guard, Ambo scrambled too slowly to retrieve it, and his boat rocked violently tipping from side to side as he struggled to regain control. In the midst of the turmoil, a colossal green creature burst forth from the water, its emergence marked by a thunderous splash. As it surfaced briefly, Ambo could see its jagged, pointy teeth and tough, scaly exterior. A chilling realization dawned upon him. He was engaged in a perilous encounter with a crocodile. Although familiar with these creatures in the shallower, swampier waters, Encountering one so far from its typical habitat was extraordinary. As Ambo observed the crocodile, he noticed a large plastic bag obstructing its mouth, causing the animal visible distress as it struggled to open its jaws. Driven by a mixture of fear and compassion, Ambo acted on instinct. He plunged into the water, engaging in a tense struggle to pry open the crocodile's trapped mouth. The battle between man and beast was fierce. They dipped below and resurfaced as Ambo used his seasoned strength honed from years of navigating the river, to wrestle the predator. Within moments, he managed to remove the plastic, potentially saving the animal from a fatal outcome. After the rescue, he gave the crocodile a gentle push with his feet, distancing it enough to allow himself to swim safely back to his boat. Climbing aboard, Ambo wrung out his soaked clothes. His heart still racing with adrenaline, he took a moment to collect himself, processing the surreal encounter. However, the day's surprises were not over yet. As he made his way back down the river, the sound of splashing caught his attention. Turning around, he was astounded to see the same crocodile trailing behind, 
a silent acknowledgement of the day's dramatic events, with a sense of unease about its intentions. Ambo accelerated the speed of his boat. Yet the crocodile effortlessly kept pace, gliding smoothly beside him, it gently nudged the boat, prompting Ambo to reconsider its motives, perhaps it was seeking a playful interaction, to test this burgeoning camaraderie, Ambo threw a fish he had caught earlier towards the reptile, which it snatched up eagerly, the crocodile then escorted him all the way to his riverside home, Ambo's wife looked on in astonishment as he recounted the day's extraordinary happenings. As they stood by the riverbed, she suddenly shouted in alarm, watch out, her eyes were wide with fear, in a moment filled with tension, she voiced her concern loudly, drawing attention to a crocodile lurking nearby, despite Ambo's assurances that he had everything under control, his wife remained skeptical until he safely moored the boat and the crocodile calmly approached, Ambo fed the animal another fish, bringing them astonishingly close, almost nose to nose. After spending some time swimming near their vicinity, the crocodile eventually departed, leaving behind a memory of what seemed a unique and unforgettable encounter, yet, their story was far from over, years of tranquility ensued before the narrative took a surprising twist, while Ambo was on a fishing trip with their son, his wife received exciting news, the very crocodile from years past had returned, seemingly in search of Ambo, in his absence. His wife and the neighbors, who had become familiar with the story, took the chance to feed the crocodile, when Ambo returned the next day, he was met with the familiar sight of the crocodile waiting for him in a shallow part of the river, despite having grown into a majestic 23-foot-long adult, its affection for Ambo remained unchanged, since that remarkable reunion. Ambo affectionately named the crocodile Rizka, she would regularly swim up to their home in search of Ambo and a meal, on occasions when Rizka did not show up, Ambo would take to his boat, venturing into the river like a pet owner in search of a lost companion, he would eventually find her and provide a hearty meal, sometimes consisting of fish or even three chickens, once satisfied, Rizka would depart contentedly, leaving Ambo reassured that he could always meet her needs. Even if he were away, he made arrangements with neighbors to ensure Rizka would be cared for in his absence, reinforcing the unique bond between man and crocodile, to ensure that Rizka, the crocodile, was never left hungry, Ambo and his friends took it upon themselves to provide for her, over the years, this sense of responsibility and affection was also embraced by Ambo's son, Booty, who grew fond of Rizka, Booty relished the times he spent with his father feeding the crocodile. Although fish constituted the staple of Rizka's diet, she was occasionally pampered with chicken or beef during special events, Booty's bond with Rizka inspired him to take proactive steps to protect their environment, he organized a weekly river cleanup initiative, aiming to remove plastic waste and other pollutants that marred the river, their home. This initiative was partly motivated by the environmental impact of a nearby port town, which led Ambo to delve into politics. Hoping to make broader changes, for more than two decades, Rizka made regular visits to Ambo's home, often following his boat along the river, mirroring the way they first encountered each other. Whenever Rizka suffered injuries, Ambo was relentless in caring for her. There were moments such as when a veterinarian, called to treat Rizka at the riverside, was too petrified to get close. Nevertheless, Ambo's unwavering commitment never faltered. Approaching a crocodile can be intimidating. But Ambo mastered the skills necessary to safely treat and care for Rizka. Many were skeptical that a crocodile could exhibit such trust towards a human, yet the extraordinary friendship between Ambo and Rizka shattered all doubts. It might seem unimaginable for a crocodile and a human to share such a deep connection, especially to those hearing about this unique bond for the first time. What part of the story strikes you the most? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Your insights are valuable to us. Now, we have another engaging story, let's proceed to the next one. Our beloved pets miss us with the same intensity that we miss them. In one touching story, a soldier experienced a prolonged separation from his cherished deaf dog. Their reunion was nothing short of extraordinary, filled with emotion and joy that exemplified the profound bond between humans and their pets. Join us as we share this heartwarming story. A true testament to love and loyalty transcending time and distance, little Hannah had always held a special place in her heart for animals, her favorite pastime was visiting her grandmother, who had an assortment of pets, Hannah particularly adored her grandmother's elderly dog, a gentle creature who never minded the enthusiastic attentions of a young girl, the dog was the epitome of kindness, embodying the phrase wouldn't hurt a fly, despite his age. 
he harbored a gentle spirit that made him the perfect playmate for Hannah. Tragically, as all living things must, the dog eventually passed away due to old age. The loss deeply affected Hannah, returning to her grandmother's home and realizing her furry friend was no longer there to greet her was heart-wrenching. In the wake of the dog's death, her grandmother decided against getting another dog, which only deepened Hannah's sense of loss. However, a new chapter began for Hannah when she was about eight years old, on what seemed like a routine day. Her parents took her on a drive to the outskirts of Cleveland, Ohio. There, they stopped at a quaint house where a friendly woman greeted them at the door. Although Hannah did not recognize her, she exuded warmth and kindness. After a brief conversation with Hannah's parents, the woman invited Hannah to see something special. She returned holding a tiny, golden bundle of fluff, a puppy. As she placed the puppy in Hannah's arms, it joyously licked her face, an adorable sight that filled the room with laughter. The tiny golden retriever was just as excited to meet Hannah as she was to meet him. Upon seeing their instant connection, Hannah's father asked if she would like to keep the puppy as her new best friend. Overwhelmed with happiness, Hannah enthusiastically agreed, promptly naming him Buddy. The ride home was a blissful one, with Buddy comfortably nestled in Hannah's lap. Signaling the start of a remarkable friendship, Growing up in Cleveland with Buddy by her side made Hannah's childhood extraordinary. They were inseparable, sharing countless adventures even during family vacations. They chose destinations that were pet-friendly, ensuring that Buddy could come along because a vacation without him was unimaginable. Buddy was not just a pet but Hannah's most cherished companion, joining the family on many adventures and bringing joy to every ordinary day. Hannah and her golden retriever Buddy shared countless adventures together. From sun-soaked beach holidays to cozy camping trips, Buddy, with his quintessential love for water typical of golden retrievers, reveled in the hours spent frolicking in the surf, alongside the water fun, the sandy shores were their playground where digging huge pits became a ritual, much to the chagrin of Hannah when her elaborate sandcastles were inadvertently destroyed, nonetheless, forgiveness was swift. Washed away with the next wave, as the joy Buddy brought was far too precious, the family's camping excursions were a highlight, with Hannah and Buddy often sharing a compact tent nestled beside the larger family tent. This arrangement gave Hannah's parents peace of mind, knowing Buddy's protective instincts kept their daughter safe under the stars. These trips were filled with long hikes, an abundance of treats for Buddy. In the serene pleasure of nature, a perfect escape for the energetic pair, at home, activities were a plenty to satisfy Buddy's sharp mind and boundless energy, recognizing the needs of their intelligent breed, Hannah's family ensured Buddy was engaged through frequent walks, occasional hikes, and even agility courses set up by Hannah's father in their backyard. These activities not only prevented boredom but also fostered a deep bond between the dog and his family. Filling their days with joy and a delightful exhaustion, as the years rolled by, changes came, Hannah blossomed into a teenager, and her social circle widened, yet she remained steadfast in her dedication to Buddy. The once vigorous play sessions gave way to more serene moments, with Buddy often preferring to lounge on the couch, especially with Hannah by her side. By the time Hannah was old enough to drive, Buddy had eased into her senior years, car rides became their new adventure, with Buddy delighting in the feel of the breeze against her face, a gentle reminder of her youthful days spent running, choosing to attend a local university, Hannah ensured she could continue living at home, this decision allowed her the comfort of ending each day with Buddy resting at her feet, a constant in her changing world, despite describing her upbringing as sheltered. Hannah harbored dreams of joining the army, a path she ultimately did not take. As they both aged, Hannah turning 21 and Buddy 13, their companionship remained a testament to the enduring bond formed over years of shared experiences and unconditional love. Buddy, now a venerable 13-year-old, a remarkable age for any large breed dog, had seen better days in terms of physical agility, where he once might have bounded alongside Hannah on long hikes through the woods. These days he found even short walks taxing, his body too quickly succumbing to fatigue, his hearing had also left him completely, plunging his world into silence, yet he remained an integral part of the family, adapting with an almost admirable cleverness to his loss of hearing, arthritis had crept into his joints as well, leaving him stiff and sometimes visibly uncomfortable. Though Hannah and her family were diligent in managing his pain and ensuring that his favorite sunny spots for lounging were always accessible, however, it was now time for a heart-wrenching separation, since adopting Buddy as a spirited puppy so many years prior, Hannah had never faced leaving him behind until now. 
she was set to depart for the Army's basic training, a pursuit she had long aspired to, but the thought of leaving her elderly canine companion was daunting. She feared he might not be there upon her return, their goodbye was emotionally taxing, easily one of the hardest moments Hannah had ever endured. During her basic training, Hannah encountered a grueling series of challenges over the course of ten weeks, the intense regiment allowed little opportunity for contact with her family or buddy, but thoughts of her beloved dog and the comfort of home gave her the strength to persevere, the experience was transformative. Molding her character in profound and lasting ways, upon completing her training, the joy of returning home was immense, those three months had stretched longer than any period she had ever been away, her parents met her in Cleveland and drove her home, where she was both nervous and excited about the prospect of reuniting with Buddy, would he still remember her after such a long absence, the reunion was nothing short of miraculous, profoundly touching and captured on video by her parents. As they opened the front door, Buddy came forward to greet them, at first, he seemed to overlook Hannah, welcoming everyone else into the house, then, with a sudden shift of recognition, he turned back to her, his reaction was overwhelming, with cries and whimpers, he expressed his joy and longing for her touch, collapsing into her arms in sheer bliss, the strength of their bond was undeniable, his joy was palpable and sustained, his vitality surprising everyone during Hannah's stay. The family was deeply moved by the depth of emotion and connection displayed, reaffirming the enduring love between Hannah and Buddy. Hannah's dog, Buddy, had grown old and weary, no longer bounding up the stairs with youthful vigor, most of his days were now spent in slumber, yet, Hannah's presence seemed to breathe new life into him, whenever she was around, he would muster his energy to stay alert and loyally follow her wherever she went. Displaying a touching devotion that was hard to ignore, when the time came for Hannah to leave, she was faced with the heart-wrenching dilemma of wanting to bring Buddy along, unfortunately, due to his advanced age and the stresses of travel, it was not feasible, despite being apart, Hannah found a way to maintain their bond, she regularly connects with her family and Buddy through video calls, during these calls, Buddy's excitement is palpable as he joyfully licks the computer screen, seemingly trying to reach through to Hannah, it's a poignant reminder of their special connection, and there is hope that soon, Hannah and Buddy will have the opportunity to reunite in person once more. Thank you for tuning in, and please join us again to hear more inspiring stories like this that touch the heart.